Hi everybody, it's Paula here from Craftables and I'm just going to do a quick video and share the card that we have done, I've designed and did it in class last week. So here's our card. So it does sit flat and when you open it, it just opens out and that one comes to the other side as well. It's an oldie but a goodie. I mean we've done these cards before and they are all over the internet but I just thought I'd do one of my own this time. So that's our card there. So I might just pop that, I might just zoom out a little bit. There we go. So I'll just pop that in the corner so you can carry on seeing it. Now if you have bought our kit, you'll have full colour instructions in there, plus everything that you need to make this. So in the kit you'll have two A5 pieces of card. I just want you to fold one of those in half to make as your card base. So that's that one there. And also you'll have another A5 piece of card stock there too. So this one I'd like you to cut. So this one we're going to cut down to five and a half by six and a half. So five and a half there, six and a half there. Now I have scored it. So I've put this on the top part of my trimmer. So my top of my trimmer is up here. And I've just scored it at two, four and six inches. And then I'm going to fold that up. So the little side that you have here with the little tab is going to be a mountain fold. So we have a mountain fold, another mountain fold on that score line. And then we belly fold there. So it should look something like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start covering our card. So on the inside here, we want two pieces of pink card stock. Uh, the pattern paper from your kit. And they measure four by five and three quarters. So two of those. Um, what was it? Four? by three, five and three quarters. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick those to the inside of my card. So one's just going to go on one side panel there. So we've just got a little bit of a border around it there. And the second one here is going to go on that side there. So again, another pink piece that measures four by five and three quarters. So that one is going to go onto the left side there. Just leaving that small gap of white around the outside. Awesome. Okay, so that's the inside part done. So we want to focus on the outside now. So on the outside of my card, I have my dots. So in your kit, you'll have a white background with some black dots on. So that's the piece there. So again, this one's going to measure four inches by five and three quarters. And that one is going to go on the front there. Now because I'm cutting a square out of the middle here, I have put a strip of cut, uh, sorry, tape along that middle piece so that when I cut this middle piece out, this isn't going to flap all around and stay open. So you could just pop oh, another strip along there too if you wanted. It just stops it from um, coming apart a little bit when the window's been cut out. So that one's just going to go on the front there with a bit of a white border around it again. Great. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put this square. So we want to cut out this little square in the middle here. So you've got in there a square white piece. Now this also is going to be used on your card, but we're going to use it as a template as well. So what I want you to do is measure down about one, how much have I said there? About, about three quarters of an inch. Right. Actually, it looks like I've gone about half an inch. So I'm just going to pop that on there. I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm just going to lightly draw around it because I don't want to damage my white square because I will be using that later in the card. So I've just cut along there. If you have a square die that measures um, what was it, three by three, I think, so a three by three square die, go right ahead and use that. Just make sure you open your card up pop your die on and then run it through that way because you don't want to cut through this piece as well. We just want to cut through that front piece. But for now, if um, for those that don't have a cutting machine, I'll show you how to do it without it. So we're just going to grab a craft mat, so my cutting mat here. And I have a craft knife and I'm just going to cut that square out. Now I I prefer not to use a craft, uh, sorry, a steel roller, but if you have a steel roller, go right ahead. So you're just going to line it up on your, onto there, 
and we're just going to cut through it. Now you've got three layers to get through there, so you do have to be pretty hard down there. So if it hasn't gone through, go through it again until you get right through the whole lot there. Okay, there we go. So just go around all four sides there. Make sure it's cut right through. There we go. And around the other two sides as well. I'm actually not very good at cutting lines with a metal ruler because I tend to push too hard against the ruler and it wiggles all over the place. So I prefer to do mine freehand. But if you want to use a ruler, go for it. Absolutely. Okay. So hopefully I've cut that around there enough to pop out. Yep. Alright, so there is our window there. So as you can tell, we've had to cut through quite a few layers. So we've got three layers to go through there. So we've got this. Now this is what I mean about when we cut it down, we need to stop this gaping. So put some more tape around there or a bit of glue along there if it's still gaping there. It's just when we take the tape, sorry, when we take the tape off on there and stick it down, we just, I might have missed that little bit there. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue there and just stop that gaping along there. Alright, okay, so that's the inside of our card there. Now what we're going to do is this piece that we did earlier, we're going to now stick onto here. So I just want you to pop a little bit of tape down that left hand side. So a little bit of tape on that tab and then on the back of that last panel. So a little bit of tape down that left hand side and on the back of that panel there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all of my tape off, all the backing of my tape off. So that's on the back of that one, and then I've got these two on the front here. Alright, so now I'm going to fold that up. So it's going to fold like that on top of each other. I'm going to leave my tab on the left-hand side there. So I've got a bit of stick on the back now. And I'm just going to line it up so there's a bit of a pink border around the outside there. And that's going to stick down. So now I'm just going to fold my card over and stick it down to that piece there. Okay, so that's our mechanism for the middle done, like that. Okay, now if you want to, you, it's not absolutely necessary, I just found it was a little bit easier. But I just wanted to cut my tape off around here, and then just up there. Now you're not going to see this piece, so it doesn't matter if you make a bit of a mess of it, because it is a bit fiddly to cut out. So none of this is going to be seen. So I've just cut off that sticky bit in the middle there. Alright. So now I'm going to put a little bit of tape on this white piece through my window. So I'm just going to grab my tape and I'm just going to do some strips down inside that window there. Just like that. Now in your kit you'll have, we'll go and go back to use our white piece of um, cardstock that we used earlier to draw around. And in your kit you'll have a piece that of embossed pink there. So if you are doing this without the kit, this piece here is going to measure, sorry I just need to follow measurement, 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. So that's just going to be an eighth of an inch smaller than our 3 by 3. So we just want that very small white border around there. I've just gone ahead and used my embossing folder and my machine and I've embossed it. And then I just wanted a bit of a whitewash in there. I didn't want it to be too too prominent, but I didn't want it to be... I just wanted to give it a tiny bit of colour on there. So what I use is a the Lawn Fawn um, Yeti White. And I have to say it's one of the best white ink pads I've ever used, which we do sell on our website craftables.co.nz. And I'm just going to really lightly just wash over the top of those raised edges there. So it's not going to be a bright white when it's done. It's just going to have a bit of a wash on there, just a little bit of a white wash. And that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to have too much of a colour. Don't worry if you get it onto the bottom pieces. It's just a very shabby chic look to it, which is really lovely. There we go. So there you go. It's just got a bit more of a colour wash on there now, which is I think is quite nice because it's just a little bit subtle. 
Okay, so we're going to bring our card back and I'm now going to take the backing off this tape that we have through the window and I'm just going to stick my square back in that window there so it's, it's going to be nearly the perfect size to go on there. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that back in my window, cover up that hole. So that now is going to open on the inside of our card as well as the outside. Okay, and this piece here, I'm just going to put some tape on the back and I'm just going to put right in the middle there, just like that. So just in there, just so we've got a bit of a white border around the outside again. And so now when we open it, it comes to the inside and the outside. Awesome. Okay, so now we're coming to decorate it. So in your kit, you would have had some little flowers and bits and pieces to cut out. So there were two flowers and a little banner. Some people may have got a pink banner rather than a blue one. And then you also should have three feathers in there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my feathers on first. Now they're far too big for what I want. So I'm just going to cut it down to the size that I want. I'm just going to cut that feather down there. So I just want a little bit of a feather coming out underneath my flowers. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue across there. Pop my feather in it. And then I'm just going to use my smallest flower and I'm going to put that over the top. But I have used foam tape for that. So if you've got some foam tape, put some of that on the back. Just on there. And I'm just going to put that over the top of my feather. Just on the edge. Just on the corner there. So now the flower comes through and the feather comes through as well. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm just going to put another bit of a feather along here. So I'm just going to cut this one down as well. So I just want a little bit there. So I'm just going to cut that one down. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on one side. And pop my feather in there. So then now I'm going to pop my little banner over the top there. So that's just going to go right over the top of a feather. So you're just going to have a few little feather bits poking out from under the banner there. Okay. There you go. So on the inside, I've just been, I've clipped it fairly plain on the inside. I've just put another little feather there and another one of my um, cut out flowers. So again, I'm just going to cut my feather down a wee bit. I don't want too much there. And I'm just going to put some more glue there. And just pop that down in the glue again. And so this piece, this flower here, I'm just going to put right over the top. So again, we've just got a little bit of the feather poking through there. So I am going to use glue because we've got lots of little tiny edges coming out here. So we want them to stick down well. In the centre there. There we go. I might put it up that way there. There we are. So that is the feather on the inside. There we go. So when we close that, all the feathers and everything are there, and then we open it to the inside. So you could do your writing there. You could put a sentiment down there if you wanted to. You've got a bit of space to do some writing there. You can add as much or as little as you like to this card. So I did have a stamp that I wanted to put on, so I just wanted to put a little thank you on there. So I had a very small little thank you. And I'm just going to pop that just under my flower a little bit. So if you have some stamps at home with just a little word on, they'd be perfect for this. Okay, so I've just popped that onto under my flower there a little bit. And for the last little finishing touch, what I have done is I've used some of my glitter glue, my Candy Glitz Crystallina. And what I've done is I've just put a little bit on the top of my flowers and I've just randomly put it on there but then I just wanted to smooth it out a wee bit so I'm just going to rub it around 
all over so we get right around to those edges there and that just gives it a slightly more um, uniform look it's not all raised up in some places and not others I don't know if you can see that on the camera there very well so I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the flowers on this one as well so I'm just squirting it on there and then I'm just going to rub it with my finger just to the points that I want it to cover up and that gives it a nice flatter look so I'm just going to do the inside for this flower as well And then when that dries, that's just going to give a very, very subtle shimmer on there. And it's really lovely. Okay. So that's what the finished one looks like when it's all finished there. Great. So this is our finished card. So I hope you had a great time doing it. I enjoyed designing it. So I really enjoyed this card. So if you would like to go onto our Craft Communities Facebook page, we'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.